The column headings A, B, C, D, etc. aren't very descriptive, so it can be very helpful to add actual titles to your columns and or rows. I'm going to add the column titles Department, Employee Name, and Parking Sign. You might notice that after typing them in, it looks like my titles have either been cut off or are spilling over into the next cell. But this is only temporary because we're going to fix it ASAP. There are actually a few ways to fix the width of your columns and rows. I can fix it manually, going column by column, or I can fix all of them at once by clicking a few buttons in the ribbon. I'll show you both ways. The first way is to widen my columns by clicking and dragging with my mouse. I have to bring my mouse up to the header area in between two columns. In this case, I'm right between column A and column B. And right when I'm exactly between the two columns, my cursor turns into this funky looking broken compass. Like it's a compass that only has east and west arrows. Now, when my cursor looks like this broken compass, I can hold down my left mouse button and drag it out to the right. And maybe I dragged it out too far, so now I have to shrink it down a little bit. And this can be a little time consuming if I have a lot of columns I need to do this for. Instead, I can use a pretty neat trick to have it auto fit. I'm going to squish it back down to demonstrate how it works. I'll make sure that my cursor is in that same spot in between the two column headings and that it looks like that broken compass. And instead of clicking and dragging my mouse to stretch out the column, I'll just double click my left mouse button. This auto fits the column width. Now let's say I have a whole lot of columns I need to do this for and I don't want to have to double click in between each and every column. I can set it so that Excel automatically auto fits it for me for every column I've typed in. First, I need to select the row that has my titles in it. So in this case, that's row A. Now, I don't have to select the entire row. I could just highlight the titles I've already typed in and then go ahead and set it to auto fit. But I think it's helpful to select the entire row before I set it to auto fit because that way, if I wind up adding more columns later on, like email address or office number, for example, Excel will go ahead and auto fit them for me right off the bat. So I'm going to move my mouse to the right hand side of the ribbon and click on the format button. This brings up a drop down menu with a bunch of choices and I'm going to select the choice for auto fit column width. And now I can see that the width of all my columns has been fixed. And since I formatted the row as a whole, it'll fix the width automatically for any column title I might add to this row later on. And by the way, to select the entire row, I clicked where it had the number of the row, and that selects the entire row. So now all my column titles are legible, but they're looking pretty plain. I can have Excel apply some formatting to them to fancy them up a little. But first I'm going to select just the titles that I've typed in rather than selecting the entire row like I did before. Now I'm going to move my mouse up to the styles group on the ribbon and I'm going to click one of these buttons on the right hand side of the box where we see these different styles. The button I'm clicking on looks sort of like an upside down triangle with a minus sign on top of it. This is basically the show me more button. Now I have a whole bunch of choices of different styles that I can choose from. And if I hover over them with my mouse, I get a preview of what those styles would look like in my spreadsheet. As a side note for 508 compliance, if I'm going to be choosing one of the styles that has white font, I want to make sure that I pick one of the more saturated, darker background colors so that there's enough contrast to make the text readable. I'm going to select accent number six with the dark green background. By the way, the reason why I didn't have the entire row selected when I picked my styles is because if I had selected the entire row and then chose my style, then every single cell 
in that row out to the very last column would have that dark green background. 